27 verse 22 and Jacob went near unto Yasser his, his father and he felt him and said the voice is Jacob voice but the hand are the hand of Israel so we take our baraka by wrestling against Israel Edom Persia we have our blessings our baraka our favor by wrestling with Israel Edom this devil this red devil that came in the womb with us that the almighty separated from us because why Israel is the devil Israel is the son of predation Esau is like a cursed son, so the Almighty had to separate him from Jacob. Alright, Yahuwah had to separate Esau even from Jacob. This is why the Almighty said, What? Two nations shall be in that womb. They should be they shall be separated. One shall be stronger and one shall be weak. And Esau Edom will serve us. So curse be Esau Edom. Esau Edom is the new king or Canaan. Curse is Isa Edom, this devil. Alright. So, listen to what it says. Listen, and I'll, Yahushua will give you the revelation in the morning time. Press here. This word is called as who is as a wise man who know the interpretation of the thing. A man wisdom makes his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Listen to this 22. And Jacob went near unto Isaac, his Abba, and he fell him. And said, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hand are the hands of Esau. So, what I'm saying is, the scriptures was written in what language? In Abri, in Hebrew, in Abri. But now it was changed into English. But now we speak Yahweh word in the new language, in English, which is what? Esau language. So you see, so Jacob said, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hand is what? Esau hands. So Esau language is what? English. Esau took the scriptures and translated it into his language. But we speak the scriptures speaking to Yahuwah and Yahuwah still hear us. So, we are wrestling with Esau Edom for our barakah, our blessing, alright? So this is what Jacob did. Jacob wrestled against Jacob wrestled against Esau Edom, this devil, to get his blessing. So we are doing the same thing. The Bible was written in Hebrew. But but in order for Esau Edom to try to, to try to take our blessings, he translated it into his language, but now we're going to read it in his language and still get our blessings in Yahushua name, Persia. And Jacob went unto Isaac, his father, and he fell him. And Isaac said, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hand are Esau's hands. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, as his brother Esau's hand. As his brother is the hands. So he blessed him, so he barack him. Alright, so the Almighty gonna do the same thing there. The Bible was written in Hebrew, the scriptures written in Hebrew in the Quadash language, but Esau Edom the devil took it and translated it into his language. So we're gonna speak the Yahua in Isa Edom language. So Yahuwah recognized that we are speaking to him, thus we are speaking to Yah. In is Edom language, but it's the meditate meditation of our heart, the meditation of our mind, our soul, our heart, our lips is why you are yeah. So we say Samuel, the Almighty year, Alua year. All right. So we're resting against is Edom to get our Baraka, Brazil. And he discerned him not because his hands were hairy. As his brother Israel hands, so he barak him to the full. And he said, I doubt my I doubt my very son Esau. And he said, I am. So in order for Jacob to get his blessing, he had to wrestle. Praise he had to wrestle with his brother. He was he was wise. He was wise in Israel Edom. So this is what Yahushua says. Be wise as a serpent and harmless as dove. So Jacob was wise and wise in Israel Edom. 
and it was harmless because it is a snake is you know is wise but he's a snake so you know harmless so Jacob had to be wise as is you know his brother and harmless for him to get a blessing so you see see what Jacob did he was wise and harmless He was wise in the serpent, but he was not harmful like the serpent. Persia. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son, finishing that my soul may barack thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. So, those that give the Almighty wine and drink, spiritually speaking, those that give esteem, honor, barakah, majesty, those that have belief in Yahushua Hamashiach, then Yah is pleased with you. This is what you read in the book of Isaiah. That, let me get it so you know what I'm talking about. I'll come back. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 11. So, those that gave Yahushua Hamashiach honor, praise, esteem, those that believe in Yahushua Hamashiach as the Messiah, as Alua Almighty, or Sada, Yahushua is pleased with you. Then, when Yahushua comes, he will spare you. Because what, what the Yahushua says, every tree that does not bear good fruit, it turns into the fire. So he must bear good fruit. He must bear fruit for Yahushua Hamashiach. So Yahushua did not say, every tree that do not bear fruit. Yahushua said, every tree that does not bear good fruit. So Messiah is looking for good fruit. Not just fruit, but good fruit. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 65. And let's start from 10. And Sharon or Samaria shall be a full of flock, which Ezra is the flock. Yahushua is the shepherd, Yahuwah is the shepherd. One shepherd, Yahuwah, Yahushua is one. And the valley of Okori, a place for the herd to lie down in for my people to have sought me. But ye are there that forsake Yahuwah and forget my Kwadash mountain that prepare a table for God or a troop. Because what, what does Gare mean? Gare, one of the sons of, of Jacob, it means troop. It's a Gare. Gare is a troop. All the troops shall come against Gare. But Gare will overcome at the last. So that's Gare blessings. Verse 11. But ye are there that forsake Yahuwah and forget my Kwadash mountain that prepare a table for God, for God, all that troop that furnish the drink offering unto that number. So in other translation it says, But ye are there that forsake Yahuwah who prepare a table for God, G O D, God, the devil, God, you all, the war of the Almighty. And makes a one for many or for money Yahuwah said I'll prepare you for slaughter so the Almighty is saying those that forsake him in this time those that forsake Yahushua Hamashiach but sacrifice to God that pray to God that makes one for destiny or for, or for money all when he says therefore I will number you to the soul and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I call you did not hear you did not answer when I speak you did not hear but you did evil before my eyes and did not choose what way and did, did choose that way in I did it at night 
a delight delighted night so you see so the scripture says today if you hear his voice who voice is speaking who is speaking yahuwah yahushua your one almighty praise yah so yahushua is yahuwah our almighty that spoke to our ancestors yahushua spoke to abraham yahushua spoke to moses in this way you read Yahushua commanded Moses to give his name to the son of Nu as his new name. So you see, we go what? That was to let them know that is Yahushua that was taking them to the promised land. Your Messiah is our Messiah, Yahushua, that took our ancestor to the promised land. This is why the Almighty gave his name to the son of Nu. As his new name, so get a mystery because that would be a son that Yahushua, our Almighty Yahuwah, is the same Almighty that is taking you to the promised land. So that was a son that Yahushua, our Savior, our Almighty, was his name was given to the son of Nu as his new name to be a son that is the same Yahushua, our Savior, our Almighty, that will take us. To the promised land, Brazil. Therefore, I will number you to the soul, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, you did not answer. When I speak, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and then I choose, and did choose that way in a delighted night. So, when the Almighty speaks, is Yahushua who is speaking. Yahushua is our Almighty that always speaking. Then I go back to Genesis 27. Genesis chapter 27, verses 19. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, the firstborn I have done according to And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, the firstborn I have done according as thou bidest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my finishing that that so misbarred me. And he asked his son, his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because Yahuwah, your Almighty, brought it to me. So it was Yahuwah's plan for Jacob, Yaqub, to get a barakah. Because Esau was struggling to please his father, but to please Jacob, it wasn't hard for Jacob. To please Isaac was in half for for Jacob, so you see, to please Isaac, it was in half for Jacob because the Almighty wanted for Jacob to, Jacob to get a blessing, and not Esau. This is why Esau was sent into the field. This is why we say Esau is the man of the field. Esau is always in the field, looking for the devils, evil spirit to make friends with them. This is why the Almighty said, "What? What does the Almighty say to the wicked?" What right have you to recite my word, seeing that thou hadest instruction and you stand on your own mother, you stand on your own mother's son. When you see a thief, you make friends with him. So Isa is man of the field that he's in the field looking for evil spirits to make friends with, to come against Jacob his brother, to stand against Jacob his brother. So it's like all these scriptures that, that you see people spraying. They went to the evil spirits to make the scriptures. All right, it's like the, the the thing of Balak and Balaam. They want to curse Yasuri all, so they went to the sorcerer. So it's like Esau go to the evil spirit, and they gave him the far west knowledge understanding to make chemtrails. So. 
doing enchantment witchcraft against his brother. So he's he, so he's a he's a, he's a thief. He's a make friend with a thief. He's a make friends with the evil spirits, with the Nephilim spirits, with the devil himself. So this this is what Yahweh says. Samaria shall be a full of flood, and the valley of Alcori a place for her to die, for for the, a place for her to lie down. So like here. So we know that Israel, yes, we are the sheep. So we we'll go back into our land. So Yahweh says Samaria would be a resting place for the herd. The valley of Okori, a place for the herd to lie down. For his people that have said Yahuwah, Yahushua. But those that forsake Yahuwah and prepare a table for God. The God of Isa Edom. So now this curse is on Isa Edom and those that join with Isa Edom to serve Isa Edom. God which is the devil. That Yahuwah Almighty will slaughter you. Alright. So when the Almighty come, the first person that will be slaughtered is Isa Edom. And those that forsake Yahuwah of Yahshua they will be slaughtered as well. Because why the John of Isa Edom that John with the devil, that John with the devil, the officer that John with the evil spirits to fight against Jacob, that to fight against the elect, first yeah. And as the second Jacob come near, I pray thee that I may feel thee, my son, whether that be my very son Isa or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac and his father. And he felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are Esau's hands. So it's like the scriptures read, was written in, in Abri, but Esau, even the devil, took it and translated it into his language. In order for us not to get our barakah from Yahuwah. So it's like we will speak to the Almighty in English, but it's our heart, our mind, our soul, our spirit. The meditation of our heart and our mind and our lips is what Yahushua sees. So we still get our barakah from, from Yahuwah. Praise the Lord. And he discerned him not because his hands were hairy as his brother Esau's hands. So he barak him and he said, I doubt my very son Esau. And he said, I am. So you see, J Jacob, Jacob said, "I am." <laughs> All right. What the scripture says? What the Jer Jeremiah chapter ten sixteen says? Yeah, Yahuwah, Yah, Yahushua, who is the portion of Jacob? It's not like this. For Yah is the form of all things, and the nation of Yahshua is his inheritance. Yahuwah of course is his name. So when I said as Jacob are you Esau? All he said was I am. I am. <laughs> I am the rod of Yahuwah. I am the rod of the Almighty. So this is what Jacob said. Alright. <laughs> Praise the for that. So even our ancestor had a wrestle. He had a wrestle. That he, he, that he left an inheritance for his children's children. This is what the scripture says. A righteous man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. But the wealth of the riches is still up for the righteous. So you see, so all the riches of the nations is still up for us. That we we'll eat our riches, we we'll eat our food, and the Almighty will put in the death. Alright. So all the food. He's a he don't go ever to collect everything. He's done it for us. Because what? It's like a greedy person collect, 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 but he's never set it for. Who is set it for? The righteous person that get what a weak person been collecting. So you see, that's what it's gonna be like. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so everything is you know is collecting. He's actually collecting it for us. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> pues ya. So nothing is new under the sun. So Jacob had to wrestle. Now we're wrestling with his devil. Alright. This, this is what Paul said. <laughs> we wrestle, we fight not against flesh and blood. So Jacob had to wrestle with Isa Edom or the devil that was, that was in Isa Edom because uh, the Almighty had, had already chose, chosen Jacob before the foundation of the world. So all Jacob had to do was wrestle with Isa Edom. And you were giving the perfect word to say. When I said, Ask, are, you, are thou my son Esau? Jacob said, I am. Why he said that is because in the book of Jeremiah, it says what? Let's go to Jeremiah, come back again. So go to and fro with the precepts. That knowledge will increase. Jeremiah chapter 10, 16. So when, uh, when I said, Ask Jacob, I doubt my son Esau and Jacob said I am all he said was I am <laughs> okay uh, yeah. Yaremia Yawuras ten sixteen the portion of Jacob is not like them for Yah is the form of all things and yes we all is the Ra of his inheritance. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. So you see, so when Jacob asked, when I said, Jacob, I die, my son Esau, he said, I am. Because why? It's already written in Jeremiah, Jacob 10, 16, that the portion of Jacob is not like them. Like who? Like the other nation. Esau, Edom is a nation. Babylon is a nation. So our inheritance is not like them. For Yah, is the form of all things who made all things the scripture is the word that made all things Yahushua is the word Yahushua is the mighty word Yahushua is the almighty word that's the word praise yeah the portion of Jacob is not like them the other nations for Yah is the former of all things, and yes, we all is the Ra of his inheritance. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. So you see. So when as as Jacob, Abda he my son Esau, and Jacob said, I am, I am. He said he is the chosen of the Almighty. So the Almighty put in Jacob's mouth exactly what to say. As Yahweh says, I will give you a mouth that you speak the enemies whom be if the country dead or gain say. So you see. So that go back to Genesis chapter 27, verse 16. Genesis chapter 27. So every Rebecca help her son Jacob to get his blessing. It's like when you read Revelation, it says the woman she fled into the wilderness, the the Almighty prepared a place for her, and the dragon went after her. What happened? 
the, the dragon spill water after the woman and the okay the dragon spill water after the woman and to, to try to drown her but the earth opened its mouth to help the woman so here we are Rebecca was helping uh, her son to get a blessing so it's like the earth helped the woman to get to get a safety so you see so the Almighty says we make confident with the stones of the field and the wild beast shall be a beast with us so it's like they're gonna come a time there'll be wild animals there'll be all type of things new created beast so the Almighty made beast animals that you have not seen before that will be released all right we talk about uh we talk about behemoth we talk about leviathan read the book of job the book of job chapter 24 it talk about leviathan that the creature is so big it will fit the whole world all right <laughs> the creature is so big it will fit the whole world that it got the armor on that you can you cannot pierce it all right you cannot pierce it it don't matter what you shoot at leviathan you cannot pierce leviathan the shiba spoke about behemoth it speak about other creatures the scripture the spread about phoenix phoenixes your word was speak about phoenix leviathan behemoth and other creatures that now you know about because i'm telling you now that you have not seen before but you'll see them when the day of your your wrath come you'll see all these creatures that eerie they'll be confederate against Isa Edom so the, all the creatures they'll be confederate against Isa Edom all right because what Isa Edom wage war against the whole earth against the animals the human being even his own citizens all right is a is a is a in a west war against Israel's own citizen. It's the like Babylon oppressed the Babylonians to get Israel. So you see, that's how that's how foolish this devil is. All right. Is the scripture says a king will rule who the people do not want. All right. <laughs> All right. A king will rule that the people do not want. But they have no choice because the Almighty is coming to discard them. So the Almighty gives them a prince that is a baby, a king that is a baby. War to a city who king is but a child. So you see what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So the Almighty gives them a person that is a child. That he will make a foolish move. That that will be that will be this 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 mass or that will be the ruin of his nation. All right. So everything is like crumbling. Everything that's not built on Yahushua Hamashiach, the Shkon Foundation, is crumbling. Every house that's not built on Yahushua Hamashiach is crumbling, and Babylon is falling. Babylon is not built on the rock, on Yahweh the rock, on Yahushua the rock. So Babylon is crumbling. We who have healed Babylon, but she cannot be healed. There's no remedy. All right. There's no remedy for Babylon. So it really was the people slaughter for his children. So that means there'll be no root, no branch left for Isa Edom, the, the devil. Or anybody that joined with Isa Edom. There'll be no root for you. That means what? The tree will be like a man. So when, when they openly pluck the tree, that means they openly pluck the man out and his children. And his children, children. Alright. And there'll be no branch or root, meaning the man will be killed, his wife will be killed, the children will be destroyed by the Almighty. And Yahushua spoke like parables, so we'll go get it, so that'll make us feel comfortable. And we'll read it, is that Yahushua spoke in parables, Yahushua spoke in parables. So <laughs> we'll go find a real meaning, and that'll make our heart to be joyful. It's like when someone oppresses you, your enemy is oppressing you. Then you comfort yourself in the Almighty Word. Then that will, that will bring you joy. Alright. It's like 
-hmm. when the children of Yasuri all when our ancestors scream against the war Jer Jericho <laughs> alright why screaming it's like you tell the child to scream he gonna scream to the joy of it alright so when our ancestors scream against the war Jericho they were for real screaming alright they were screaming for real for real that the war was cracking <laughs> okay alright that the war began to fall and they were screaming they were enjoying it they were screaming aloud so like how people can say L O L so our ancestors were screaming a loud a lot against the war of Jericho. So this is why they said the children of Israel because they were screaming. <laughs> it's the like children screaming. How how loud is, how loud it can be? That's how our ancestors were screaming. They were using the word of the Almighty to scream against the war of Jericho and it fell. Praise the Lord. And Yahweh says that Yahweh will feel easier in them. The wicked flu when no man pursue them. Praise the Lord. So, well, the time we're in, the police can't tell, tell for us no more because they know what time it is. Alright? All the devils, they know what time it is. That our judgment is already written and we're speaking our judgment. And the sweet part of spiritual warfare is when you're fighting spiritual war, even though if your enemies do not hear you, but they can feel it in a spirit. So that's that's the thing with spiritual war. When you're fighting spiritual war, even your enemies, they're not, they're not hearing what you are saying. They can feel it in a spirit because what it, it says spiritual war. So when you're fighting against the enemies, spiritually, that, that spirit is going to feel it. That, that spirit going to be afflicted. Praise the And yet what it says, it's not my word like fire. Like him when I broke the rock into pieces. Alright. So fighting spiritual war is a beautiful thing. And this is what David says. Who will rise up with me against the evil doer? So you must stand up. Praise yeah. Praise yeah. Yahushua Hamashiach. And look what they put. For this. Yahushua says, right, that he not have something, and if he, if he have like something and he doesn't appreciate it, then what he have will be taken for him. And the person I have, more will be given unto them. So it's like, you are giving a talent, you want talent, you have to make more. You are giving two, you have to go make profit. So it's like, the Almighty, the Almighty, this dead Barak Isa Edom. But what the what did Isa Edom do with his blessing? He used to curse everybody. Alright, Isa Edom used to saw to kill people. Isa Edom used to saw revengefully. So now the saw will be taken from him and be given to us. That it will be a curse to him, and that get the scripture will come back again. So we're running to and fro. Psalm chapter 149. <coughs> so Isa Edom was given a soul, which is a blessing, but to him make profit with it, to him make a righteous profit with it. No, he is the soul for evil for discretion for violence so the little that you have will be taken from him and will be given to us so if we will have souls but it won't be our souls that we have 
It won't be made out of metal, no. It will be a fiery soul, just as the Almighty have his soul, so we'll have the soul as well. Alright. That, that, that soul will be able to cut through the flesh, through the spirit, through the soul, through the bones, through the bone marrows. Alright. That soul will be made out of the Almighty Word. So it'll be a spiritual soul. So it's like Esau was giving the physical soul, but then it will be taken for him because what he did not profit. And then I make perfect with it, so Yahushua will take it with his soul, and Yahushua will give us a soul, but that soul will be a greater soul. Alright, so it's like about the talent. One person gave him one talent, he go, he go highly. One person gave him two, he go out of joy, he go make profit. And one person gave him five, out of joy, he go make far more. So it's like Esau is giving a soul, but he go take it from the he used it for discretion, for violence, for theft, for murder, for indignation. So that soul be taken for him. And Almighty give us a better soul. And this is the proof. Psalm chapter 149, verses 5, verse 4. For Yah will take delight in his people, and Yah will be the Father and make with salvation. Let the sins be joyful in your steam. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the heart praises them. The heart hala of the Almighty be in the mouth. And the double edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance upon the heathens. And punishment upon the peoples. To bind their kings with chains. And their nobles with feathers of irons. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his, his sins. Hala be Yahuwah. So you see, Esau Eden was given the soul, but what did he do with the soul? For violence, for theft, land theft, people theft, because people, Esau Eden also st stole people, all right? Esau Eden stole you. When your ancestors fled to the Negro lands, Esau Eden went over there and, and stole you from the lands. So this is why you, the bad world is the bear water that they call you today is African American. Because why? That means when your ancestors fly into West Africa, they will take it off there and scatter all over the world that you will call African American. That means the first place that you was was, or the place that the place that you was taken from before you came where you are right now was Africa. So this is what they say, Afri African American. That means you was you were taken from the coast of Africa, Negro land. To the Americas, to Americas. So you see, so they say African American. So it's like what they took you from and what they brought you. Those are the name they gave you. Praise the Lord. But in 780, your ancestors fled to the coast of Negro land. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yahushua Hamashiach. So you see, see the connection. So now let's go to another scripture. All right. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. So this spiritual war, fighting not against flesh and blood, but against evil spirit powers and authorities, rulers in high places. All right. So now go to the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter fifty-one, verse twenty, and the stuff of nineteen. Again, it says the portion of Jacob, Jacob. It's not like it's nothing like these, like them. The portion of Yaqub is not like them. For Yah is the form of all things. And yes, we all is the right of his inheritance. Yahuwah of Rus is his name. Now Those that oppress us, the Almighty require for them to be oppressed. Those that took us into captivity, the Almighty require for them to be into captivity. It's the righteous thing with you who want to recompense to their enemies. So when Yahushua said, turn the other cheek, you must ask Yahushua, what do you mean? Because what? The Messiah was speaking in parables. Alright. So when Messiah says, turn the other cheek, Ask Yahushua, what do you mean? Then Yahushua will tell you the meaning of the parable. Because 
Yahushua also says it's a righteous thing with him to recompense your enemies. And Yahushua will reckon, recompense our enemies. This is why Yahuwah says we should wait for him. That vengeance belongs to the Almighty. Vengeance belongs to Yahushua. Yahuwah said vengeance belongs to him. Who is coming to take vengeance? It's Yahushua the Lamb, the mighty Lamb. This is what the scripture says Behold, Yah come with the clouds, and every eye shall see him. Those that pierce him mentally, physically, and spiritually will mourn. So, those that pierce him are those that pierce his brothers and sisters. Because Yahushua give the power that as much as you do to these little ones, you have done unto me. So, you see, so the Messiah chopped everybody. It's like the lion, when he's hunting, he hunts carefully. If the lion is big, I'm using animal to give you the understanding. The lion is big, but it can still, it can still maneuver that. You won't hear the sound until the hands is at your neck, at the enemy neck. Yahushua Hamashi, the Lion of the Tribe of Yehuda. Yahushua spoke in purpose to trap the enemies. Here we see that the Pharisees, they will come asking Yahushua foolish questions to trap him. But Yahushua will condemn them by the purpose that he gave. Yahushua will trap them. That either they had to repent or they had to be condemned. So when we speak Yahushua Hamashi to you, it's for you to be paid for or for you to be condemned. So you gotta pick condemnation or salvation in Yahushua Hamashia name. And you cannot serve two masters. Praise Yah. So when Yahushua says, turn the other cheek, you must ask the Almighty. Say, Yah, Yahuwah, Yah, Yahushua. What do you mean? Give me the right interpretation. Open your mouth and the Almighty will fill the earth. Fill your mouth with, with the right interpretation. Don't lean on your own understanding. Because it's a righteous thing with Yahushua HaMashiach to recompense your enemies. So, the people that took us into captivity, they must go into captivity. Just like kill us with the sword, the gun, the knife. Just like kill all with GMO food, chemtrails with vaccines with fake water fluoride water fake education fake religion war must come by all means war came but the person that brought the war more war to them so the chemtrail came and they still spread the chemtrail the vaccine came they still making it they still trying to improve it Fluoride water, they keep adding fluoride in the water, in the toothpaste. So war came, slavery came, oppression came, and now we are mad about it. So now we must scream. So you must scream. So war must come, war came. But a person that brought the war, more war to them. So the Almighty will repay our enemies double. The Almighty will pay our enemies double. So, those that suffer, you will endure. You cry, you have to cry for you to, for you to be happy. You gotta moan for you to be comforted. You went to slavery for you to learn, and now you're gonna you come be the new slave masters. Alright? That you be dashing people in the pieces. Even Yahushua says what? Ask me for the nations. Ask me for the heathens. And Yahushua give them to you. Psalm chapter 2. Let me get it. Let me go back. Psalm chapter 2 verse 8. Ask of me. 
and shall give thee the heavens for the inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for the possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron and shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So this is why Yahushua said that we should ask Yahushua for the heavens because no, it's Yahushua that is coming. And Yahushua will give us the heavens, the other nations that will dash them, the ones that do not listen, that, that got high hearing, that won't, that won't obey. We have to dash them. This is why the book of let me get it. Mika. Two verses. Let's join six. Two verses. Let's draw four again. Okay, so in the book of Mika, the Yahua, Yahushua will punish all the nations that have not obeyed him. So Yahushua will use his people. The remnant that will possess the other nations will break them into pieces, and the one that humble themselves will be our servants and our handmaids in the kingdom of heaven. Isaiah chapter 14. So we have we break some, and the other one will learn. So it's like when you, when you take a glass, you break it, then. You like I just broke the glass, and let me be careful with the next one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we have to break some of them for some of them to learn. Is they have children, and they all acting up, and if you whip one of them, and the, the other one gonna see, they gonna humble themselves. So that's how it gonna be like. I see chapter fourteen, verse one. For Yahweh will have mercy on Yaqub and will yet choose Yahshua and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, of Yaqub. So Yahweh made covenant with us, and Yahweh made a covenant with us again. Yahushua is Yahweh that made the renewed covenant with us. Praise Yah. And the strangers. We join with us that have made confident with Yahushua Hamashiach. If we, the Almighty say in the book of Psalm, let go there. Psalm chapter 90. And the I believe. Well, I get funny, but Yahweh says in the book of Psalm that God unto me, God unto me, my sins, my quadashim, that have made covenant with me by sacrifice. So the sins are there that keep the commandments of the Almighty and that have the, that have the belief of Yahushua, our Almighty. As many as receive Yahushua are the sons of the Almighty. Yahushua is. Our Almighty Night and we are His Quadashem. So now the other nation will be given to, unto us. So we will ask Yahushua for that. So I'll be having other nation on me. And I have to dash some of them for the other one to learn. For them to be wise. Alright. So
let's go back to Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For Yahuwah will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, yes we are, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So, the other nation that are going to cleave to us is the people that have not enslaved Israel. So that, that would be the strangers, like, when we're in Egypt, when the children of Israel were in Egypt, even the, some of the Egyptians left with the children of Israel, and the other nation left with the children of Israel. So that would be an example of the strangers. All right. The other nation that have not benefited from our enslavement, our oppression, the other nation that have not known us. So it's like when our ancestors went to war with the enemies, with the other nations, they will kill everybody. That that anything that moves, they will kill it. But they will spare the virgins that have not known a man. All right. So that will be a sign that when Yahushua come, they shall make war with the Lamb, Yahushua and. Yah will overcome them. Yah will conquer them. For Yahushua is the Almighty of all masters and sovereign of all kings. And those that are with Yahushua are called and chosen. So that means when the Messiah come, when Yahushua come, will go to war. So we'll find a spiritual war that will go to first God's war in the future. So David said, Who will rise up with me against evildoers? So now I'm recruiting. In Yahushua name, I'm recruiting you for you to join the army of the Almighty. If the Almighty has laid on your heart for you to fight his battle like that we did, for you to fight, for you to fight spiritual war, you must say Yahuwah, Yahushua, yeah I am. When the Almighty call you, you must say yeah I am. And Yahushua will call you and you must say yeah I am Yahushua Hamashiach, you know me? Verses 2 And the people shall take them and bring them to their own place. And the house of Yahshua shall possess them in the land of Yahuwah for servants and handmaid. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So we have handmaids and servants, men and women to be servants. And we have those that were oppressed. Those that we're gonna rule over, so they're gonna be classes. Those that those that will be showing mercies, and those that will be showing oppression. All right. So we're gonna show certain people mercy, and we're gonna show certain people oppression. Our oppressors will be oppressed. So when you see all the police brutality, you will know those are your oppressors that. Are. Be willing to oppress them in the future when the Almighty spread them. That is, because Yahweh says in the book of Obadiah that all the mighty men of Israel Edom will be caught up in slaughter. So the police is a mighty man, the army is a mighty man, the CIA is a mighty man. The the the, the door kickers are mighty men. All the squad team, all right, they are. The sheriffs, they are mighty men. The spy agents, they are mighty men. The scientists, engineers, the teachers, they are mighty men. All the people that teach you deception. The doctors, they are mighty men. So all people will be caught up in slaughter. So it's like a mighty man is a person that's above an average human being. All right. So it's like if you go to school to be a scientist, you'll be a mighty man. Go to school to be a what? Gym or faces or nuclear faces to spread chemtrails over my head you'll be a mighty man and you'll be caught up in slaughter all right let me, let me get a scripture obadiah obayahu the servant of yah so obayah was like that we that we are obaya that we are so they were saying on, on the same mission David killed them physically and mentally and spiritually, but Obadiah killed them spiritually. <laughs> and if you 
Obadiah, Obadiah, the, the, the servant, the prophet is coming to get his, his hand dirty too. Get everybody in heaven to come and get a hand dirty. All right. Is the high? The scripture says, the prophets of old lay their hands on me, on you, for them to give me, you, the gift of prophecy. So also when the prophets of old come, they're gonna lay their hands on our persons. All right. It's like you take a child to go babysit, and then the oppress the child. They don't feed the child. You, the parent, will be angry. Even the dad will be angry. The sister of the auntie of that child will be angry as well. The mother will be angry. The sister, the auntie, the grandma, the grandpa, everybody will be angry at the babysitter. So that's what it's going to be like. So when the almighty come, the saints, even the messengers, they'll be angry with Isa Edom. They'll be, they'll be angry with the devil. They'll be angry with uh, our oppressors. Persia. So let's go, to, let's go to the book of Obadiah. Obadiah. Chapter 1. Verses three. So, prayer is Esau killer. All right. What killed Esau is his prayer, and the prayer comes from the heart. So Esau gonna have a heart attack. This is why Yahushua says, "Men heart will fill them for fear because of the things that will come that will come upon them from the heavens." So Esau is the man. He have a heart, a powerful one, a powerful heart. So. Israel will have a heart attack. This is why you see these inner mice. They are having heart attack. Alright. So what killed Israel is his prayer. Because Israel have the soul. Israel have us in captivity physically. So Israel believe that he's the Almighty. That's why even he set himself up to be the Almighty, which is his prayer, his prayer, which is his death. So the thing I'm gonna kill Esau is, is his prayer, and he prayer in his soul, prayer in his soul. So it's like prayer go be discretion and how? Okay, prayer go be discretion, right? So that means that be for Esau that his prayer in his heart will be the cause that he would die by his own soul. So it's a prayer, go be with discretion. And the soul is able to kill you. So who is giving the soul? Isa Edom. Who is also giving prayer? Isa Edom. So Yahuwah says, prayer go be with discretion. And the haughty spirit before you fall. So Isa is haughty, Isa is naughty. Isa is powerful in his heart. And Isa is also giving what? The soul, which is discretion. So you see, prayer go be with discretion. So it's like Isa Edom is cursed in both ways. We are Barak by the way Yahushua Hamashiach, but Isa Edom is cursed both ways. Alright. Obidaya Obaya chapter 1 verses 3. Behold, I yet will have made thee small and more the heavens, thou art greater despise. The prayer of the heart, heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that says in the heart, who shall bring me down to the ground. So Israel is very powerful. The devastated spirit came trails. Alright. Yeah, we have, they are dying, but they still want to fight against the Almighty, against his elect. So that's the prayer. So it's like Isa is not gonna keep fighting, keep fighting until he die. So his death is due to this devil. The prayer of the heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that says in the heart. We shall bring me down to the ground. So he is asking this question in his heart. And Yahushua shares Yahushua Hamashiach, our Almighty Yahuwah, shares the heart of every man. Even it's the heart that Yahuwah see the, the prayer in his Edom heart. So who will bring Israel down? 
who would knock the boy ego to the floor? Who would chump on the on the boy ego? Who would chump on the boy ego? Is Yahushua Hamashiach that would knock the boy ego down and would chump over it? It's like when the mighty man of Israel Edom is caught down, then Yahushua will let all loose. That will be running as sparks and must double. Alright, so the Almighty will cripple, the Almighty is crippling this nation, this, this society, and Yahweh is raising us up, getting us ready to go to and fro in the cities at light speed. So when the devil is bound, when he's a mighty one, when he's a God is bound, Then there'll be no savior for Isa Edom. Because it's Yahushua that bound the devil. It's Yahushua Hamashia that bound God, the devil, got you all. And Yahushua will give us power. Yahushua has given us power. That will be, will be running at light speed. Will be light running at light speed. Going through and through in the city. And at that time there'll be no savior, no help for Isa Edom. So they will cry, they will cry for help but there's, there will be no help as Dawi says he chased his enemies that he caught up caught up to them and he beat them into pieces in the fine dust and the cry for help but there was no help they cried to Yahuwah but Yahuwah closed his ears Yahuwah said I don't want to hear that so the devil will beat Israel in the parlor will bring him the fine dust he will cry for mercy, but there'll be no mercy. God the hand show us mercy, no. He said he did not show us no mercy. So no mercy is due to him. Praise yeah. And that's the what with the uh, No mercy will be shown to him. And that gale. Though thou exalt thyself as the ego and thou set thy nest among the stars, hence will I yet will bring thee down, says Yahweh. For the six, how are the things of Israel search out? How are the hidden things set up? So Israel hey, all this thing on the rock. It's like they been they they been spreading come true. But you did not know about those things. But now you know. We've been in the slavery. But they tell you some of this thing, but they put sugar on there. But now you're gonna take the sugar from the deception. You gotta you, you will see the real deception. They give you why Jesus Christ, but now you're gonna you're gonna see that Yahushua Hamashi is your Messiah. So you're gonna take the sugar from from all. Uh, you're gonna take the sugar coat from on uh, everything for you to see the truth for what it is. And you, you can do nothing against the truth, but for Yahushua Hamashi, you're the truth. And all the mighty men, all the men, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So, all the CIAs or the police, the, the spying agents, the scientists, they can see the chariots and they're in dismay. But they had a lot to the people that the chariots. <laughs> It's so it's, it's called UFOs. So you see, so they are scared, they are dismayed. So they got to tell the people, don't worry about that. Oh, it's just UFO. It's just something flying. It's just balloons in the air. All right. So you see, they are dismayed, but they are scared. They are, dis they are dismayed. But in a prayer, they tell the people that the chariots. It's so called UFO, so they are. That's how, you, that's how you know they are dismayed because why they see the chariots. They see the chariots because I myself you can see the chariots in the night with my naked eye. And through the eye of the rock, I can look at the chariots and I can see they are living beings, alright? Because one time I looked at the chariot, I saw the Malak, alright? I seen the Malak. I seen the Malak. I seen the chariot with my naked eye. The Almighty caused me to die. It was in the night. 
Then I look at the store, I go see the angel in the store. So it's like they see they see the they, they see the angels in the night ball. They're gonna tell you it's UFOs, but it's not UFOs. It's the chariot. So the almighty says, all the mighty men of Israel that we see, they'll be dismayed. That means they're gonna see the chariots, they're gonna see the angels, but they're gonna tell the people it's so-called UFOs. Alright. They're gonna pull sugar coats on the truth. But Yahushua yeah, gonna invade them with his chariot. So at the end, the scripture will be fulfilled that it says, Let all men be a liar and Yahuwah be truth. So it's like they've been telling the people all the lies, but then when Yahushua the truth comes, everybody will see Yahushua. And then at that time, everybody will be crying. Even the people that were lying and the people that were lied to, they will see the truth. That time, it will be too late for them. So you see, <laughs> so that will be beautiful. That will be a beautiful day. When Yahushua come, it will be a beautiful day that some people will be crying tears of joy, which is you and me, and the other people will be crying tears of sorrow, which is the enemies, the adversaries. All right. And they will be crying because they know it's time for them to die. It's like, when it's time for you to die, you'll start crying. Be like, what are you crying for? All right. You come and die anyway, so why are you crying? <laughs> you got nothing to lose. So that will be that will be the case when Yahushua come. For that violence against that brother Jacob, Shem shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So the Almighty will cut off Israel even forever. That means they, they won't be able to rise no more. And again, the scripture, the good Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 14, 21. So you see, these are the prophets, they were speaking the almighty word. So you see, the Quadash prophets, but they spoke judgment. They spoke destructive war against the people. So this is what you all. When Samuel, when you went to, when you went to the house of Jesse, Yasa, and, and as soon as you enter the town, when they saw the prophet, Samuel, Samuel, the people were afraid. They were trembling. They say, "Do you come in peace? Do you come to us in peace?" Because they know when the prophet speak the word, that's the Almighty way going to happen. So whatever the prophet speak, as Yahweh will command you, that that very thing will happen. All right. So the Quadash prophets of old they spoke these things, and now we're going to interpret it because now we're in the time that the things they spoke about were live in those times. So the same rock they have is the same rock we have. They serve Yahua. Yahua is Yahushua that we serve today. Praise Yah. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of the fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face. Of the world of cities. So Yahuwah will pull the plant which man is the tree, the Almighty will pull the man, pull his children, pull the branches, and pull the fruit from the tree. So the Almighty will kill the man, kill his wife, kill his children, kill his grandchildren. This is what Yahuwah will do. So I'm, I'm giving you the, the, the plain interpretation. When Yahuwah says, prepare a slaughter for his children, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity or the sins of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. That thing about Isa Edom, the wicked, the son of predation, that the Almighty will pull him, which man is the tree, the Almighty will pull him, his children, his wife. His nephews, his sons, his daughters, his nieces, his grandma, his grandpa. They all gonna slow everybody. It's like when Dawi, he knew him as David today, when Dawi went to war, everything that moved, he killed it. When the lion, the physical lion in Africa, anything that moved, he killed it. 
it don't matter if it's giraffe, if it's cheetah, if it's another lion, if it is an elephant, a hippo, the lion kill it. So it's like when David went to war, he killed everything that moved. All right, and this is why the Almighty chose him over Saul because why? When Saul went to battle, the Almighty told Saul to kill everything that moved, but Saul spared some of them. But when David that we went to war, he killed everything that moved. So you see. So it's like we're gonna we're gonna speak the scriptures that everything that is itself over the Almighty, we're gonna kill it. All right. Anything that is anything that raises itself against the Almighty, we're gonna kill it. That's how we're gonna do it. All right. So we bring every stronghold down. And let me let me let me let me tell you what David says. First, I read Isaiah, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verses twenty-one. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of the fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fear the fear the face of the earth. With cities, for I Yahuwah will rise up against them, says Yahuwah of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the the name and remnant and son. And nephew says Yahweh. So the Almighty will cut down Babylon, cut down the old Babylonians, the young Babylonians, the nephews, the grandmas, everybody. Alright. 23. I will also make it a possession for the better rain and pools of waters, and will sweep it with the broom of discretion, says Yahweh of host. Let's go to Psalm. Psalm chapter 137. Verse 7. Psalm chapter 137. Verse 7. Remember, O Yahuwah, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. So when the Edomites came, came against Babylon, when they came against Jerusalem, against Solomon Temple, against the people, they like, let Solomon Temple fall. Let everybody in the fall. Let the babies be killed. Let the children be killed. So they did not care. So it's like when they threw down or oh, Jerusalem, the temple, they did not care if there was babies in it, if there was the grandma, if there was the grandpa. So the Almighty also remember that. When the Almighty reward the wicked, yeah, I won't spend nobody. All right. So David knew these things. That's why he said, "What? Remember, O Yahuwah, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof." So you see, so it's like when they came against Babel, when it, praise Yah, Yahushua Hamashiach. When the Edomites, the Greeks, the Romans came against or the children of Israel in 70 AD, they destroyed the temple, Solomon Temple, they destroyed the secret places, they destroyed uh, the men, the women, and the children, and the grandmoms. So it's the same thing all men will do to them, but double. This is why Yahweh says, prepare a slaughter for his children, that they do not rise to possess. The cities and fear the war with cities because what we know that Israel Edom go to and fro. Israel Edom is his, Israel Edom is the devil that go to and fro, destroying, stealing, lying, lying, destroying, stealing. All right. So when Israel Edom is cut off, then he won't go lying, stealing, and destroying anymore. So it's like the Almighty had to pull him. It's like if you want to destroy a plant, a tree, you gotta put it by the root. So the Almighty is gonna pull the wicked people by the root that there'll be no branch, no root, no stem. Alright. Psalm chapter 137. Verse 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Rest it, rest it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, Habesha Yabi, that reward thee as thou hast served us. Habesha Yabi, that take us and dash thy little ones against the stone. So, 
this will be the judgment of the enemies all right another good to Isaiah chapter 13 Isaiah chapter 13 verse 14 let's start with 13 therefore I yet will shake the heavens and the earth shall be removed at her place in the wrath of Yahweh of hosts, in the day of his fierce anger. So they're going to be earthquake. At Revelation chapter 6. So let's read it. Revelation chapter 6. At the 6th seal. Alright. So when the Almighty come, that will be our revelation chapter six. When the Almighty open the sixth seal, all right. Which precept Isaiah chapter thirteen, verses thirteen to fourteen. Revel revelation chapter six. And I be here. Revelation chapter six, verse eleven. And let's start from oh, nine. Revelation chapter six nine. And when Yah opened the fifth seal, I saw on the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Almighty and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Yahuwah, Quadash and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? So the souls of the righteous they are crying to the Almighty for vengeance in the heavens. So in the heavens, the righteous souls that were killed, they are crying out for vengeance before Yahuwah, before Yahushua Hamashiach, for vengeance. This is what Yahuwah says, is a, is a righteous thing for Yahuwah to, to avenge your enemies, to pain, to pain a double. For the eleven and white robes, white robes were given unto them. And white rules were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also in their bellowing that should be killed as they were to be fulfilled. So we know. Yahushua Hamashiach chose our ancestors before even, the, before even the foundation of the world. So, all those that were persecuted, that were killed physically, or mentally, or spiritually, they are supplicate, supplicating before the Almighty. So, even you. Okay, Yahushua is a dash and kill, but if your enemy have a bad mess mindset against you, that's not killing you. So you see. Dash and kill first quality. Yahushua said dash and kill. When Yahushua our Almighty gave the commandments to Musa, Yahushua said dash and kill. And Yahushua had to come and tell the people I meant that first quality and spiritually. Praise yeah. So the people that are there because of Yahushua Hamashiach, even our ancestors, they are crying before the Almighty because you describe says what? The soul of Abel, Abiyah, the, the blood of King is crying. So that means Abiyah heard the testimony of Yahushua Hamashiach before even the Messiah came on the earth because he knew that Yahuwah is Yahushua. The, Yah live and Yah save. Yah live, Yahuwah. Yah save, Yahushua. So even Abel, Abiyah, the brother of Cain, was slain for the word of the Almighty. And he supplicated before the throne of Yahushua, our Almighty. Read the book of Hebrews. That it says, Abiyah is crying before the throne. But if you read Revelation chapter 6, it says, 
and when he uh, I opened the fifth seal, I heard, I saw on the other the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Almighty and for the testament which they held. So, King killed Abiel, his brother, because what? Abiel held the testimony of Yahushua, his Almighty. So, his name says, I be all. My Abba is my Almighty. Psalm chapter 68, verse 4. Sing unto the Almighty, sing praises to his name. Exalt him that rise on the heavens by his name Yah. Yahushua. A Abba to the fatherless. A judge of the widows. Praise the Lord. Revelation chapter 6, verse 9. And when Yah had opened the fifth seal, I saw on the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Almighty and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Yahuwah, Quadash and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also in the brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Verse 12, which is the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet. The sex you which we are waiting for because we know we're, we're in the time that we're, we are waiting for the sex you that they're going to be big earthquake and that's when Yahushua comes all right and also link back to Isaiah chapter 13 Revelation chapter 6 verse 12 now and I beheld when Yah had opened the sex you and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as a sackcloth of hair, and the moon began as blood. And the stars of heaven, which are the angels, fell onto the earth as meteors, even as victory cast her untimely fakes when she is shaking off a mighty wind. And this is the thing that will happen. The sun will be darkened, the moon will be darkened, the stars, which are the angels, will fall to the earth as meteors. So this, this will be the signs that Yahushua is coming, that the Almighty is coming to visit the earth, his earth, his full stool for the second time. That will be the sign that the moon will be dark. It won't give it light. The sun will be dark. It won't give it light. The stars, which are the angels, they will fall to the earth. You will see it as meteors or as shooting stars. Praise the and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth as one, if as a victory cast or untimely fix, when she is shaking of a mighty wind. So, when the wind flips us and I see you, which are the servants that no lie, no God is from in their mouth, when they preach the good news onto the whole earth, then the end will come. Because why? The wind you flip us and I see you to preach the good news. And in the good news there'll be no lie so you see so it's the one one year fifty thousand that will preach the good news that no lie no deception no laughing reform and the good news then end will come let go to Matthew Matia so Yahushua sealed the one year fifty thousand that no lie we found in our mouth that it will preach his good news to the whole world. And by, by me speaking the word, even when people not hear it, they will fit it in our spirit. Because why? Yet what word is fire. That people will hear it. Hear it from everywhere. They will feed the fire in the ear. The spirit. Yahushua was the spirit is rock. That when the Messiah speak, the, 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 his words go as rock and they go, they go do his work. Praise the Lord. 
Matia 24. Matthew 24 verse 7 For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places What does it mean earthquake? Meaning earthquake not mean when the earth, earth shakes by Yahuwah that's the earthquake when people, when a lot of people are somewhere, they are rowing, they are making noise, they are protesting. That's another earthquake, so be aware, you must discern, alright? When the Almighty says earthquake, that means earthquake. And when people are somewhere, a lot of people are protesting, which you are seeing. And you are also seeing what? Pestilences, alright? So you see, these are the signs of the end, end time that we are ready in the end time that... You are seeing the signs, but you must discern. You must find the double meaning of something. Because what the word is like a double edged saw. So you must see the other part of the saw and see the other part of the saw. Because what your Hushba word is like a double edged saw. So when the message is an earthquake, that means earthquake that everybody know about, and earthquake that there will be a lot of people protesting. To be making noise, to be rumbling. If that, if a lot of people gather somewhere and they storm at once, the air will shake. All right. If you gather one thousand people or five thousand people and they jump as as one people, the air gonna shake. So that's earthquake for you. All right. This will be the signs. Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. For nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, spiritual famine and physical famine, famines. Because what? Only the prophets, only the servants of Yahushua will eat spiritual food and physical food. But the rest of these people out here fooling around, the word of the Almighty is not in their mouth. So, Yahushua gonna shut their mouth. So shut your mouth. If you not have Yahushua in your mouth, shut your mouth. If Yahushua did not call you, shut your mouth. Praise Yah, Yahushua Hamashiach. Because if the Messiah did not call you, and you send you send yourself out as a shepherd. But not in Yahushua Hamashiach, our shepherd, then you are condemning yourself. So it's better to hear than to speak. Praise the It's better to hear than to speak. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, spiritual famine, the famine of the world of Yahuwah, Yahushua Hamashiach, and physical famine. And pestilences, we've seen the viruses is increasing, and earthquakes, physical earthquake, and people protesting, gathering all together. They are pro protesting, they are rumbling. That's another, another sound of earthquake. In diverse places, you are seeing people protesting all over the world, which is earthquake. So you see, do you see, Brazil? Yeah, that you see, the signs of the end time. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So Yahushua is speaking to the to his disciples. What will happen to them? What was going to happen to them? And what is, what was going to happen to us? And what is happening to us? So Yahushua was speaking as the voice 
of many waters. That mean what? The Messiah was speaking to Yahushua, was speaking to the disciples. What was going to happen to the disciples? That some of them were going to be Behele, John, Yahugna was Behele, Sahu, Nathaniel, Philippo, Philip. Some of the people were Behele. And what was going to happen to Israel, the nation? The nation of Israel was so in the captivity. So that's talking about us that we, we, we was gonna be locked up, will be hated by all nations for our need for Yahushua namesake. So in order for all nations to hate you, that means what you the children of Israel, yes we all were so in the captivity to all the nations. So that purpose is fulfilled. Now you are a modern nation that hate you because what you are scanning more them. We, we just read the portion of Jacob is not like them for Yah is the maker of all things and yes we all is the Ra of his inheritance Yahuwah of host is his name so that means Yahushua our Yahuwah who saved us when Yahushua said Then shall ye, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, which is our captivity, and shall kill you, which is talking about the nation of Israel. That we die, our ancestors die in slavery, we are still dying in captivity. But the elect will be kept alive. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahuwah. No torment will ever touch us, no torment will ever touch you. And shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So, before even the foundation of the world, Yahuwah, our Yahushua, chose you to be his people. So, all the nations that was not chosen before the foundation of the world, the Spirit entered into them for and they hate you. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and this shall deceive many so when there's confusion when there's hatred then that give the devil power that give the devil energy all right it's like Esau trying to get all out of chaos all trying to use order, trying to use chaos as his weapon because the sword is what? The sword is for what? To kill. So when you have the sword, that means he's going to kill. Alright. So as we were scattered in the captivity, that's when Isa Eden made his first religions. Because like when someone is when someone is like hurt and then Okay, I'm gonna give an example, right? It's like it's like when when you are hurt then somebody gonna come to you to comfort you but that person will be a fake friend or a real friend because they see that you are hurt so they, they will seek to come comfort you all right so you see what i'm saying so the nation of yes we all was in the captivity so it's a even the devil made false religion to try to comfort us in the, in our discomfort so you see so yahushua says and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and because and because of iniquity and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wash cold so the mysteries of iniquity is here so People would rather be in the midst of iniquity than be in the truth. So Yahushua says that in the end time, the time we are in, people will be hard of hearing that they will be lovers of lies rather than the lovers of Yahushua Hamashiach. That people will have each ear. <coughs> they will have each ears that. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear Yahushua Hamashiach. Alright. They'll have itchy ears looking for false doctrines. 
looking for strange things, looking for strange water, looking for dead water, dead sprite. All right. Instead of instead of having the real truth, the undefined knowledge, the pure knowledge from above, from Yahushua Hamashiach that give us the real water, people want to they want to drink GMO water, they want to drink oh uh, fluoride water, they want to drink defiled water, they want to go in forbidden waters, so they'll be having issue here, not for the truth, Yahushua. But for lies and delusion, so the Almighty gonna give delusion, and we can see that some of the people that are in delusion, like some of the people in Israel, in Israel, they call themselves precious, but Yahushua gave us like clear vision that we can see through the other deception that they are not really sent, they are, they are not really sent to you, but they are acting like shepherds. But we can see all these people, and this is why Yahushua says, if it was possible. They want to deceive the very elect, but that's not possible, all right? So that deception, we can see through it. So it's the way you can see some, you can see through something, then you know what it is. So you must ask for the Rurak. Which way the Rurak come? Discernment, come prophecy, come healing, comes interpretation of tongues, comes cast out devils, comes discerning for you to see everything because we're, we're in a time that the, the iniquity is here the the mysteries of iniquity, iniquity is here the mysteries of iniquity is here that people fall in it people fall in the deception but you must see the deception you must be you must be as the five wise virgins that had a light they were they were able to discern the time of the season they was they were able to see, they were able to see the deception and they were, they were able to maneuver because they had the light because they have discernment praise the yeah. and because because iniquity shall shall abound the love of many shall wash cold so people love is washing cold because iniquity is here the, the lawlessness that Paul spoke about the uh, the mystery of lawlessness is here so people uh, have each year for first doctrines all right but him that shall endure until the end the same shall be saved so it's about endurance all right and i am going to endure in yahushua hamashiach and if you put your mind to it as well you're going to endure. So I'm speaking the word that I, that we will endure until to the end. So you yourself, you must say the same thing. It's like, when, when I believe something, I speak it. Then you yourself must speak it as well. It will be like two coming together and green. And Yahushua is in our midst. So I believe so. What I believe, I speak it so. For you to meditate only for you to speak as well. It's like, so it's like two coming together. And then Yahushua will be in your midst, in our midst. Praise the Yah. So I believe I will endure until Yahushua come to receive my crown in Yahushua Hamashiach's name. And I have already overcome everything in Yahushua Hamashiach's name. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And this good news of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Let's go back to let's go to Revelation. That who will preach the good news is the one you for thousand because why no lie is found in the mouth because why in order for the good news to be preached for the people to receive it, I mean no lie should be found in it. Is that you make a bread and unleavened bread. Then when somebody eat the bread, they'll be satisfied. But this first prophet out here making bread with leaven in it. So Yahushua said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Be aware. Because they're trying to they're trying to deceive the, the very elect. But that's not possible. Now let's go to Revelation.
Revelation chapter 7. And after these things, I saw four messengers standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four wings of the earth, that no wind sh sh that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another Malak ascending from the east, having a sea of the living Almighty. And he cried, or he shouted with a loud voice to the full messenger to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. So this is the discreet wind. The four messengers are the discreet wind. That will be lost. That will be loose. So when Yahuwah says, the Almighty will sweep Babylon, the Almighty will release the winds, the four winds, when the one year 5,000 are sealed. When the good news is preached, that's when the Almighty release the four messengers, which are the discreet wind. All right? So the one year 5,000 is already sealed because it's them that will preach the good news. It's the servants that are sealed that will preach the good news that no lies from in their mouth. So, you believe in Yahushua, and I mean everything about Yahushua Hamashiach, you should also believe. Praise the Yah. Revelation chapter 7, verse 2. And I saw another Malak ascending from the east, having the seal of the living Almighty. And he cried with a loud voice to the four messengers to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Have not heard not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees. Till we have seal the servants of our Almighty in the foreheads. So now Yahushua is our king. Our hair is covered. The, when Yahushua come for draw bar, Yahushua pass over us. Just as Yahushua passed over our ancestors because why they had the blood of the lamb on a doorpost. So your body will be like the house, your door will be what? Your lamb, this is what Yahushua says. The R is the lamb of the body. So now we have to understand that Yahushua is our Messiah, that Yahushua is Yahuwah, our Almighty, our All Sada. So the blood of the lamb is on our doorpost. Because what the R is the window of the house. So our R is full of understanding. Of Yahushua Hamashiach, so we have the Lamb as the five wise virgins. So the one year of thousand are the five wise virgins, and the remnant are the fruit the five wise virgin bear. Praise the Lord. So I speak to you as one of. Yahushua won you for the four thousand seal. So what Yahushua tell me is what I tell you. And Yahushua says, if you accept a prophet as a prophet, you're gonna get the prophet reward. Praise the So what I tell you in Yahushua name, receive it. You also receive my reward. Praise the And I heard a number of them which will see you, and they will see you, and one year for the four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Yahshua, of the tribe of Yehuda will see you twelve thousand, of the tribe of Yehubin will see you twelve thousand, of the tribe of Ger will see you twelve thousand, of the tribe of Asari 
received 12,000 of the church of Naphtali, received 12,000 of the church of Manasseh, received 12,000 of the church of Samuel, received 12,000 of the church of Lawi, received 12,000 of the church of Yesekar, received 12,000 of the church of Zabulon, received 12,000 of the church of Yahusef or Ephraim, received 12,000 of the church of of the church of Bayame was still 12,000. This is the one of the 2007 of Yahushua Hamashi, our Almighty. These are the people that preach the good news to the whole world and no lie will be found in the good news. No lies found in their mouth. Yahushua is the truth. Everything about Yahushua is the truth. If we stand on the ground, that means sin. It's part of the ground you are standing on. Rock is part of the ground that you are standing on. Everything about Yahushua, you should stand on it as well. This is what Yahushua said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood. In blood is what? Blood is water. In blood is what? Blood is life. In blood is what? Blood is, there's all the elements, all the minerals in blood. So it's like what Yahushua says, unless you drink my blood, eat my flesh. That means if you drink the Messiah's blood, that means everything in his blood, you're going to receive it. Everything in his flesh, you're going to receive it. So everything of Yahushua HaMashiach, receive it. Kiss the sun. And that's another doctrine. Verse 9 And after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could come, which no man could number of all nations and country and people and tongue stood before the tunnel and before the lamb clothed with white robes and pumps in their hands. So this great multitude is not talking about the heathens, no. It's talking about yes, we all Israel, yes, we all that were scattered into all nations, that spoke other languages, that spoke other tongues, but Yahushua gathered them and made confident with them and gathered them before his throne. What, does, what did the Almighty say? The other nations would be servants and handmaids in the land of Yahshua all. This is what Yahuwah said. So the other nations are not before his known, but they will be servants of his people, his elect. Verse 9 After this, Ayah, who can be here in law, a great multitude, which no man could number. Of all nations and country and people and tongue stood before the throne and before Yahushua the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. They're talking about Yahshua, we all that were gathered from, from the four corners of the world that Yahushua got unto himself. And cry with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our Almighty, which set us upon the tunnel and unto the Lamb. So you see, what the scripture says, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for Yah is the former of all things, and yes, we all is the Ra of his inheritance. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. So, Yahuwah, Yahushua is the Almighty of Yahshua, we all. So, the, the great multitude says, Unto our Almighty that said only to know. So it's not talking about other nations. So I mean, they should go that doctrine. So let me destroy and you accept the reproof because why? If you preach something in Yahushua name that's not of the Messiah, when the Messiah come, then you have to answer for it. So is so Yahushua going to send people that what you preach. If it's not of the Almighty, people people come and destroy it. So, when somebody destroy your doctrine, 
Yahushua will send someone to destroy you. That dream that was not of him. That you'll be forgiven. You'll be spared. So that'll be a reproof. Reproof your wise. Reproof your righteous man. Reproof your wise man. And you'll be wise and you'll get more wisdom than your understanding. Alright. So when I speak about the great mother too, it took my it talking about the children of Zion that were scattered in the four corners of the world that spoke in other languages they were, they were among another people but Yahushua guided them unto himself because even Yahushua says that he will save Yahudah, Lawi, and Be'amin and the Gentiles which are the, the house of Ephraim alright so when it's spoke about the Gentiles it's talking about the ten, the ten kingdoms the house of Ephraim not the heathens I was under the lordship of the house of Yahshua. The nation that all men will spare will be white strangers. They will cleave to us. They will be servants and handmaids. Not before his throne. And this is why Yahuwah says, Do not give what is quadash to dogs. The other nations are counted to him as his pillow. Praise Yah. The other nations is counted to Yahuwah as a spillow. Yahuwah does not care about the other nations. They are spillow. Even Yahushua said to the, Can the Canaanite woman, It's not good to take the little children bread and cast it before the dogs. So the Messiah was saying the woman was a dog. Praise Yah. Yahushua Hamashiach. So your Almighty will tell you the other nations they are dogs before him. Alright. And the woman said, I know that. I know I'm a dog, but if the dog eats at the table at the feet of his master. So, so you, see what, you see what the lady said? She said, Yeah, which I said to her, Do not, it's not good for you to take the little, the little children's bread and cast it to the dogs. And the woman, she understood what Yahushua was saying that the other nation that they are dogs. And Yahushua says, What? The woman said to, the woman said to Yahushua, I know, but if the dogs, it at the feet of their master that means the other nations that will be spared to be our servants praise yeah so do not give what is do not give what is quadash to strange nations to alien nation So the, the grandmother to cry and say, and cry with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our Almighty, which sat upon the throne and unto Yahushua the Lamb. Yahushua is our Almighty, Yahushua is the Lamb. The Father is the Son. We must get a stability. And nobody will say somebody did not speak this in, in Yasuri at all. So Yere, but he had a year. There's a reason he had a year for. And the, the Almighty Yahuwah know. Yahushua know. What well, you, you are had a year. But we speak it. The, the scripture says. The one your prophet has sang a song that nobody knew. So I'm singing my song. But Yahushua also says, if you receive, if you receive a prophet as a prophet, you're gonna receive his reward. So I know Yahushua has made my reward great. And yeah, which will also made a way that what the Almighty have prepared for me, that does that year, what I say of Him, those people will receive the same reward I receive. Praise the So it's brotherly love. What I have, I want you to receive it as well. So in righteousness, there what? There's competition. There's competition in righteousness. Praise the Because we see what? When Saul, King Sahu, was coming out of Yahuwah to slay the enemies, he spared some. 
So the Almighty had a thing that obedience is better than is greater than sacrifice. If he what obey when the Almighty spoke, he was not gonna be sacrificed. Or he did not have to go make sacrifice to cause some or some all from the grave to be comforted. So you see, obedience is better than sacrifice. There is competition in belief. We seek the place of the Almighty. We I seek the place of Yahushua Hamashia. And this is what Yahushua asks. When the Son of Man comes, shall him me believe us on this earth? Not just believe us, but those that believe in Yahushua Hamashia, as the scripture says. Not just look one people, no. Yahushua is not looking for look one people. So something that will make you quadage and hot. That should not make you hot and quadage and clean and purify. Then when you're flip I'm gonna speak it to you. Press the yeah, that Yahushua, our savior, is Yahuwah. Yahushua says, I am Abba I one. Another good Revelation chapter 14. Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. And I, Yahugan, look, and lo, a lamb, Yahushua, stood on Mount Zion, and with him, one year for the thousand, having his father's name written in the forehead. So you see, our Almighty King in disguise as your Messiah. So now, what I'm saying, or what the scripture is saying, is you, is you ask Yahushua to open your mind, open your full mind, because it's like, if you have one eye, you must have two eyes for the Red Sea, for you to have uh, one, 180, 180 percent vision, or angle, all right? So don't be lukewarm, but be hot. Praise Yah. So, Yahuwah came as your Messiah. This is why the Messiah rose and went back into the heavens. And now, the disciple had to speak it in the way that if you actually seek for the Almighty, you will find Him. Because the Almighty already said, if you seek for Him, you will find Him. So you gotta go seek for the Almighty. The Almighty came, Yahuwah came as your Messiah. And save you. Then the prophet said, Yahushua is seated at the right hand of the Almighty. What is the interpretation? Even after the Messiah went to the heavens, John said, I saw him sitting on the throne. So you see, I saw Yahushua sitting on the throne. On the tunnel of the Almighty. Revelation chapter 14. And I look and lo, a lamb stood on my Zion with him, one year of the thousand, having his father's name written in the forehead. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard a voice of harpers hopping with the harps. And this song as it were near song before the tunnel and before the full beast. And before the elders, the 24 elders, and no man could learn that song except the one of the thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled women, for they are virgins. They are like they are they which follow Yahushua the Lamb, whatsoever Yah goes. And these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruit unto the Almighty and to Yahushua the Lamb. Yahushua is the Almighty, Yahushua is the Lamb. So I know. That I'm, I'm a believer in Yahushua Hamashiach, 
a 144 so i'm also recruiting those that will be the next house of davis so they already put in my spirit from the do from the do so because yet yeah, what is the one of the thousand house of that we will be as yeah yahushua our almighty and the weakest men will be as that we so you see so the almighty put in my spirit that i know that i'm i'm the we i'm the house of the we the one you flip for thousand and the almighty also put in my spirit for me to look for men that will take my place that will take the place of the house of the we because yeah we already spoke there they kill it Zechariah <clears throat> chapter 12 so yeah who should already, already spoke that uh, his one year of thousand will be like him will be made his image so will be the sons of the almighty the one year of thousand are the sons of the almighty and there will be a new house of David so the almighty put in my spirit for me to know who i am in him that i will seek other people that the yahushua yeah, raising it up so power start with the knowledge you must get his knowledge be wise now second read chapter 12 verse 7 who saved He who lives is he who saves. Yahua is Yahushua, our Messiah. In this way, Yahua will be kings and priests. We have will be kings of many what? We have knowledge like King Solomon and will be priests, meaning what? We'll be the lever, her glue. You can leave me to a task, so you will take heavenly things, you will take spiritual things, and join it together for it to be one, for it to be whole. So, be kings and priests, having heavenly knowledge and having the power to put heavenly things together for it to be one, for it to be stable. So, yeah, the prophecy now, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 7, Yahuwah. Also, such, such, Yahuwah also shall save the things of Yehuda first, that the esteem of the house of Dawi and the esteem of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Yehuda. So the honest thing is, Yahuwah is our Messiah. Yahuwah is our Messiah that saved us. One Almighty. Yahuwah is our Messiah that saved us. Yahuwah also shall save the things of Yahuda. He not said through his son, even though the scripture is about his son, but the interpretation when he say father and son. So the scripture said father and son, but he speaks about that spiritually, not physically, not in the corner mindset. Praise the So I, I will boast that I know the Almighty because Yahweh Ye says, let him not boast, let him not waste, he not have wisdom, let him not boast in his wisdom, he not have strength, let him not boast in his strength, he not have riches, let him not boast in riches unless they know the Almighty. So I profess that I know the Almighty, I boast in his wisdom that, he, that Yah has given me. Just even that we say Yahweh is my strength, he was boasting. Yahweh is my light, he was boasting. <laughs> Yahweh is my savior, he was busting. Yahweh is my heart tower, my shield, and my bug like that we was busting. So the Almighty said, Yahweh said, want to bust, bust in him. That you know him. Praise Yah. <laughs> Still, I'm busting. Praise Yah. Yahweh also shall save the things of Yehuda first, that the esteem of the house of we in the esteem of the inhabitants of Jerusalem to not magnify themselves against Yehuda. So within the one year of thousand, the men of Yehuda of the twelve twelve thousand will have the most most esteem. And within the twelve thousand of Yehuda, seal of the one year of thousand, they're gonna be Dawi. 
Brazier and the weekend for the twelve Yahuda Yahushua Hamashia people rock in Adesha yet were defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem and he that is feeble and more them other day shall be as the we and the house of the we shall be as the Almighty as the Malak of the over before them so you see the one year of thousand is the house of Dawi David within the one year of thousand the child of Yehuda of the twelve thousand will have the most esteem more power more beauty more glory more honor within the twelve thousand of Judah Yehuda see you there will be Dawi but the weakest Israelite would be as powerful as the one of the thousand, as powerful as the twelve thousand of the one of the thousand, as powerful as a man from the twelve thousand see from the twelve of Yahuda. So is it the power level? So do you see? <laughs> Even Yahushua says of them born of a woman there was none greater than Yahugana John but at least in the kingdom of heaven it will be greater than Yahugana so you see so there's, there's power level this is why I'm giving this Western as you it so I have the zeal that I'm giving to it so when people speak against the knowledge in Israel my anger my anger can be kindled but In a righteous way, my anger can be kindled. But again, the scripture says, the one of the thousand sang a song, and no man could learn a song except the one of the thousand. <laughs> so you see, so it's like when, when people speak against the knowledge I'm putting out in Yahushua name, my anger is kindled. But then, the scriptures I read before to calm it down. So you see. So the word of the Almighty is balanced. Alright. Yeah, what is balanced? Press the yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna continue singing my song. So now I go back to Revelation chapter six. That also preached of the Matthew chapter twenty four that the good news must be preached to the whole world and then the end will come. So the one year of the thousand will preach the good news and no lie will be found in the good news. Because like giving the people bread, no leaven should be found in the bread. Then it will, it will be real bread. So if you if you preach the doctrine, there's little leaven in there. We like have X-ray vision. I will to, I will see through that doctrine and we will, will reprove you. And it, your duty is for you to be wise, for you to learn, for you the. You'll be running and you will leap. So it's like when somebody reproved you, that means you was running. And somebody said, stop, stop. Tie your shoes. And he said, okay. That's the right thing you are telling me. I'm going to stop and tie my shoe and keep running. So the scripture says, if you reprove a wise man, he will take the reproof and still be righteous. And he will go to the new level. Press the eye. And that's how I desire for you to be. That's how the Almighty desire for you to be. Praise the Lord, Yahushua Hamashiach. So they go to Revelation.
for the six. <laughs> six for six. Twelve. And I beheld when Yah Yahushua had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon began as blood. And the stars of heaven, which are the angels, fell unto the earth, even as victory cast her untimely figs when she is shaking of the mighty wind. So, Yahushua giving you the sound of the time, but in the parable. So, the Almighty also provide people that will explain this parable to you. Just like somebody, somebody give you fish. Do you just take that whole fish and, and eat it? No. You have to cook that fish for his No. Is it edible? Is it edible fish? If it has scales and gills, I'm gonna take that fish and clean it. The part you can eat, and the part you cannot eat, you must know. You must take that fish, you must cook it. And it, even when that fish is cooked, the part that you can eat, you will eat it. The part that you cannot eat, you won't eat it. The bone, you will take it through away. You will take the bone away, eat the flesh. So this is what Yahushua says, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life. So the scriptures, everybody have the Bible, but the precept, the name and the precept, this is what David says, that staff and a ra, they come from me. His staff and a ra, you must eat his blood and drink you must drink his blood and eat his flesh. Not the bone. So don't stumble on your which were bone. What the Messiah said, don't stumble on it. Because even what it says, the Almighty says, I lay a stone in Zion. A tripping stone. That if you fall on it, when you fall on you, you'll be crushed. When you trip over it, you'll be crushed. But you can take that stone and build with it. And your foundation will be a strong foundation. Alright. So it's like a saw. It got it got two sides. Alright. Verse 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll wind. It is rolled together and every mountain and every island will move out of their places. So all the kingdoms will be turned down when Yahushua will come. Even physical mountains will be turned down because they'll be they will, they're gonna be a big earthquake at the sixth seal. Alright. At the sex you that gonna be big earthquake that everybody will see it. Everybody in the whole world will see the big earthquake at Revelation chapter 6. Or the sex you. Alright. And the kings of the earth and the men and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bound man and every free man hid themselves in the den in the rocks of the mountain. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that set us on the throne and from the wrath of Yahushua the Lamb. So Yahushua is the Lamb, Yahushua is Yahuwah that sit on the throne. Again, the Bible speaks about the Father and the Son. The Father is the Son that sit on the throne. So when the Messiah come, that's the Almighty that's coming for the second time to His creation, first year. For the great day of His wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Let me give another precept. Let's go to the book of Jew. Chapter 114. And in that also the seventh from Adam prophesied of this of this saying, Behold, Yahuwah come with ten thousand of his quadra sins to execute judgment upon all and to 
convince all that, that are unrighteous among them of their unrighteous of their unrighteous deeds which they have unrighteously committed and of all their hard speeches which unrighteous sinners have spoken against him so you see a measure the father and the son is one person yes we are Yahuwah is coming. Yahuwah is Yahushua who saved us. Who is coming for the second time? Praise Yah. And I pray that you get another because I'm zealous. I'm zealous for the Almighty that I'm telling you this. Yahuwah put in my spirit that I'm zealous for Him that I'm I keep telling you this. I keep singing this song. It's like Jeremiah, Jeremiah says. Yahuwah have deceived him. The, they're already saying to the people to preach the news. But at the same time, they're already holding the people's heart that they did not get it. So it's like when Jeremiah went to go preach the good news, he was expecting the people to hear it, to accept it. But then when he go preach it, the people mock him. Praise Yah, Yahushua Hamashiach. So it's like Job says, the Almighty afflicted him, but he still trusted. Is that we are the one year for the thousand of Yahushua Hamashiach, but we we'll go through trial and tribulation, so people will see. People, people are like these are the one year for the thing people speak about, and they will say, why are they suffering? Then we are suffering for Yahushua name's sake. But it, the, <laughs> the suffering that we're doing is not really close to what we want to receive. So, all right. <laughs> the little suffering that we're, we're going to do is not really close to what Yahushua yeah, will give us. So we're not we're not actually suffering. So when Job when Job Ayub was being tested. <laughs> Job, Job was like, that's a piece of cake. All right, that was a piece of cake. Job, Job like, yeah, oh, you just playing with me. My almond is just playing with me. All right. It's like, you have your wife, and a woman so loyal to you. And you don't really worry, all right. <laughs> when, she go, when she go with my little boys, you don't be worrying. All right. <laughs> your heart will be at rest, because you know that's your woman, that's your wife. She's so loyal to you. Her loyalty is fixed on you that it don't even matter. If she go my men, that that won't bother you. So it's like Job, Job trusted the Almighty that Job trusted the Almighty so much that the Almighty had to prove to the devil that that's my servant. You wanna see his quality? And yeah, what's it? Job, Job, are you ready? And Job was like, Yes, I'm ready. Let go. <laughs> All right. So it's like we had the one year for the thousand that people speak about. Yeah, we should be one year for the thousand. But we're going to do a little trial and tribulation for people to see our quality because people have to see our quality. All right. It's like gold, we go through fire for you to see how bright it is, how valuable it is that even the fire cannot what? Cannot harm the gold. All right. So what we go to do is not for us to die. This is what the scripture says: the souls of the, the souls, of the, the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahuwah. No torment, no torment will touch them. In the eye of the foolish, they seem to have died. So even the devil, when all, when the Almighty tested Job, the devil felt foolish. All right, because he said, "Look at Job. This is the man you call your servant. Let's see his quality. Let me see his quality." And after Job went through it, he was still Job, he was still IU. The devil felt foolish. <laughs> this is what you see. Alright. So we go through trial and tribulation. And people will see people will be like, these are them. These are them. This is what those. This is what the people that will have interaction. These are the people. We'll be like, yes, we 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 are yeah, what people. So you read what says. It shall come to pass that in the place that it was said, ye are not the people, 
it will be said that ye are the sons and the daughters of the Almighty. Praise the Lord. <laughs> All right. So that's beautiful. So it speaks about the Father and the Son. It's the same person. And I just read a scripture for you. Yahushua is coming. Yahuwah is coming. Our Savior is coming. Is they have two hands, you clap. Two hands, right hand and left hand, but you clap. It make one sound. So yeah, which was it believe in me as the scripture says. That means the Old Testament and the New Testament speak about our Almighty, our Savior. Yahushua, Yahua save. Yahua is, is Yahushua who save you. Jude chapter 114, and in that also the seven from Adam prophesied of, of this thing, saying, Behold, Yahuwah come with ten thousands of his sins to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are unrighteous among them of all their unrighteous deeds which they have unrighteously committed and of all their hard speeches which unrighteous sinners have spoken against him. So do not, do not murmur against Yahuwah. When the Almighty sense man to tell you something, do not murmur. You heard what happened to Korah, right? When Korah murmured against Moses, Musa, Yahuwah opened the earth for Korah and his family to be swallowed up. Alright? That's an example. So do not murmur. So let the murmuring in Yeshua stop. Because the people murmur against, against Moses and Musa. But who were they actually murmuring against? Yahuwah. This is what Yahushua says. Anybody that receive me, they receive Yahushua and they receive the Almighty. So you see. This is why when David went to Nebo and Nebo did not receive the we, he did not receive Yahuwah, so Yahuwah struck Nebo hot. The rock of the we struck Nebo hot that it became a rock. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 14. And this good news of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So the good news is spiritual. This is why Yahushua verses Barak are your ears for the year. Barak as you are your eyes for the sea. So even when people not hear the good news that Yahushua is Messiah, that vibration will go out into all the earth. Praise God. Because what? There's water up there. There's water over your hair. My hair on the water, but I'm breathing fine. So there's water over your hair. So when I speak Yahushua the truth, that frequency go throughout the whole earth. That everybody will feel it in a spirit. It is the is the rock that quicken. The flesh is of no use. So flesh people when hear it, when the spiritual people. That I chosen the year, the year. Revelation chapter 24. Revelation chapter 6. And I beheld one year, I opened the sex you, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun began black as a cloth of, of hair, and the moon began as blood, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth. If as fig tree cast her on time the figs when she is shaking of the mighty wind, and the heavens departed as a scroll wind, it is rolled together, and every mountain and every island will move out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bound man, and every free man hid themselves in the den, in the rocks of the mountain, 
and said to the mountain and right fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sat us on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who, who shall be able to, able to stand? Another precept. Isaiah chapter 47, before I read it, Yahushua says, For the Son of Man was sent to seek and save that which was lost. So our Almighty being rock came as a man to save men. Now our Almighty is coming as Yah is. This is what the scripture says. When Yah appear, we shall be as Yah is. We'll be like the Almighty Yah. Psalm chapter 68, verse 4. So the scripture bear witness of Yahushua. So when Yahushua come, Yahushua judge everybody by the scriptures. What you did and what you did not do. So do what you must. This is what Yahushua said to Yahuda. Friend, do what you must. Do what you came to do. So play your role. But you must stick, stick to the script. So I will almighty be right him as a man to save men. Yahushua descended up back to his snow. And now Yahushua is coming now. Isaiah chapter 47. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no snow, O daughter of the Chaldees. Of the Chaldeans, for thou shall know me no more be called tender, tender and delicate. So, everything I made a lane so tender, and delicate, the almighty will take it away. It's like if the woman put her hope in makeup, in pants, in eyelashes, in perfume, in fake nails, in things that is not of the almighty, then the almighty will take it away. For the Almighty to expose her, if the man pour his hope in things that is not of the Almighty, yet what will take those things away for the man to be exposed, for him to be naked. So it's like, Yahushua says, we should get our clothes. So when, when Yahushua come, you won't be naked. So you will get your wisdom as you understand. So when Yahushua come, you won't be naked because Yahushua is searching everybody's heart to see if you have his precept, if you have his rock. And if you have his precept, if you have drunk his blood, if you have eaten his flesh, so don't be malnourished, but be filled. Because if Yahushua said to Peter and the disciples, be filled, don't be lacking. And, and the disciples said, we are already filled. But no, you are not filled until you come to the full knowledge of Yah. That Yah, Hayah, Yahshua. That, la, that Yah live, Yah save. So I speak to as Dawi, because when Dawi went to the war, he killed everything that moved. He killed ten of thousands of people. That was babies, that was children, that was grandmom, that was grand auntie, that was grandpa, that was toddlers, that was sheep, that was goat, that was cow, that was camel. He broke down all the stronghold of the enemies that they was not standing. The only way they could stand was on Yahushua, where the solid rock, on Yahushua, the rock. Take the millstone and ground meal. Uncover the locks. Make bare the legs. Uncover the top. Pass over the river. So the Jewish people, they are in disguise as the children of Israel. So some of the Jewish people even have locks. All right. If you see them, look it up. Some of the Jewish people, they even have all uh, the metal hair into locks. But is it actually locks? No. So yeah, what says what? Take the millstone and grind meal and cover the locks. That means that good hair on her hair is not really the dry locks. Alright. That horse hair is not really it's not really kinky hair. <laughs> yeah. 
take the millstones and go and mill. So there'll be there'll be no more technologies, no more AI, no more computers, no more planes, no more jets. We're the almighty gonna smack all the things down. No more wings for the ego to fly on. The almighty gonna smack the evil down, smack the evil the, the ego head. So it's like how they, how how they say boy ego when the almighty smack the boy ego. It rather be boy for real. It will lose all your hair. <laughs> Because you wish you had the hair of the people that make the bald ego their hair. But the poor that hope in, in animal. This is what Yahua says. Though you so hard as the ego. But I shall break it down, says Yahua of host. So Isa in a boy's hope, his belief in a bird, in a winged creature. So when the, when the ominous smite the ego, it will fall and those that, that put a trust in the ego will fall so you see take the millstones and grind meal uncover the locks make bare the legs uncover the tire pass over the rivers so just how we were transported from the congos the congo river as slaves to the americas we were transported from the Nile river the roof of Ethiopia so also will be bringing the enemies over the rivers. We'll have them but all right. That nakedness shall be uncovered, uncovered. Yeah, that shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our redeemer. Yet who of hosts is his name. The Quartage one of Yasu also is he. Yahushua is our Yahushua is our redeemer. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. The Quartage one of Yasu we are. The general precept. Yaremia, Yah will rise, and Yah is in heaven on his throne. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will raise under the we a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Yahuda shall be saved, and yes, we all shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called Yahuwah, our righteousness. Our Savior is Yahuwah. Yahushua is Yahuwah, our righteousness. Let's go back to Isaiah 13. Verse 13. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall be removed out of her place. In the wrath of Yahuwah of hosts, in the day of his fierce anger, so Yahushua is Yahuwah. Yahushua is Yahuwah who save. Yahushua, Yahuwah save. So the earth will be moved when Yahuwah shake it. So when you will come out of sex to you, that's when there will be a big earthquake up because the the almighty will shake the earth. Therefore, I Yahuwah will shake the heavens, and the earth shall be removed out of her place in the wrath of Yahuwah Sabaou, in the depth of his fierce anger. The priest for that is Revelation chapter 6. Verse 12 And I beheld when Yah had opened the sex to you, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun began as black as 
sad cloth of hair and the moon began as blood and the stars of the heaven fell unto the earth if as fig trees cast her on time the fakes when she is shaking off a mighty wind and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island was moved out of her place out of their places and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bomb man and every free man hid themselves in the den and in the rocks of the mountain and said to the mountain and the rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that, that sit on the throne from the wrath and from the wrath of the lamb for the for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand another priest i got for you so it's precept on precept so you might have this on your mind as speaking it so you may take it in yourself have the mind of Yahushua Hamashi this is what the said the one of the thousand I see you in our forehead that means we have the mind of Yahushua Hamashi so you must take on this on this mindset Yahushua see you the one of the thousand for you to be our fruit that means what we teach is the teaching that should be in you because it's the teaching that we receive from Yahushua Hamashi so when the Messiah come and the teaching is not in you then what it's like if you don't have no blood in you you don't have no flesh on you what what are you you are skinny ten you are skinny ten then that means you are still a dry bone Isaiah plus 65 verse 10. Let's start from it. Because the scripture says, When Yahuwah, who saved us, our Messiah, comes, the scripture asks, Who will stand? So when Yahuwah comes for the second time, these are the people that will stand before him. So in, in order for you to stand before the Almighty, the truth must be in you. So this is what I said, the one you're 5,000, no lies from in that mouth. So to, to stand for the Almighty, you must be as fire. Alright. So this is what all oh, the scriptures speak about. The seraphim, the carubim, that they are five beings. To stand for all Sada, the Almighty, consuming fire. You must be as fire to stay from Yahushua the truth. You must have the truth in you, the all the truth, the pure truth in you. Because no lie will be able to stand before Yahushua Hamashiach, the consuming Almighty. This is why you must have, have the word of the Almighty in you. Because what Yahuwah says, It's not my word like fire. The hem when I break the rock in pieces. So you must have the Almighty War in you, which is fire for the standing for him because Yah Yahuwah is consuming fire. So if you have the Almighty in you, then you'll be able to stand in his presence. Just as Yahuwah as the new one is found in the clusters, and one says, Destroy it not, for a barbara is in it. So will I do for my servants, sick, that I may not destroy them all. I Yahuwah will bring forth a sea out of Yaqub and out of Yahuda, an inheritor of my mountains, and my elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. So you are the elect that Yahuwah, Yahushua spoke about. You the men and the women of Zion. As many as receive Yahushua Hamashiach are the sons of the Almighty. Yahushua is your Messiah, your Almighty.